Have you seen the movie Snowpiercer? Since I watched it, I really wanted to know more about the universe. So can you imagine how happy I was when I heard about the new Netflix show Snowpiercer? <laughs> it is an adaptation of the comics, if I'm not mistaken, and I didn't read them, so I don't know if the movie and the series are accurate or not. As always, I will give my opinion as the ignorant woman that I am. <laughs> and by the way, if you're telling me that the comic's worth it, maybe I'll go read them. Who knows? But anyway, the series. The show sets in a post-apocalyptic world where the rest of humanity lives in an ever-moving train to survive our deadly planet that is now completely frozen. Seven years after the departure of Snowpiercer, 1001 car long, the people of the tale boarded illegally on the train wants a revolution. They want real food, more space, and the right to be treated like any other passenger in third, second, and first class. That boarded using a very expensive ticket, as you can imagine. <laughs> when First Class wants to solve a curious murder, they call upon Andre Layton, leaving in the tale the only detective on the train. It is the beginning of the revolution, but Snowpiercer hides a lot more secrets than we think. So you guessed it, there is a lot of mysteries to be solved in this series. The first episodes are dedicated to solving the murder in First Class, while Layton tries to make a plan to plan the revolution. <laughs> it was nice, but not exceptional. We've seen a thousand times this kind of murder solving case, but the second part of the show is definitely better. The murder is solved and Layton is going to use what he learned during his investigation to really make the revolution a reality. And that is what I really wanted to see. After those not really interesting first episodes, what happens next is so interesting. One thing I really liked about this show is that there is no real villain. Everyone has their reason to do what they do, good or bad, except some characters that are just side Echoes, but again, they are not villains, so to speak. We might think that Melanie Cavill is the real villain of the story, but we find out really fast that this is more complicated than we think. By the way, I think Melanie is my favorite character. I really like her. She is the voice of the train, who makes the daily announcements, but we soon discover she is so much more important than that. I also really like Bestil. I think she is kind of a guard. She is really badass, and at the same time, she has the softest heart of all Snowpiercer. She is very kind and sweet and she joins the revolution at the end because she know what's right, you know what I mean? One other thing that really impressed me was the development of the train. We might think that there is not a lot to see since this is a train and outside it's just a frozen landscapes and we would be wrong. The sets are incredible and even the outside is very impressive. We got to see some very beautiful frozen landscapes and the creators were very creative. That was just incredibly beautiful. Overall, I really liked this show. It was really, really different from the movie, kind of better in a way, mostly because there is more to see since this is a series and that I love this universe so much. I also think I love the series characters more than the movie characters, but overall a really really good series. And I am pleased to tell you that there is a season 2 already announced and the short teaser already has been released, do you believe that? And it is the amazing Sean Bean that will play Mr. Wilford that we didn't see in season 1 but heard of a lot. Of course, the shooting has been delayed due to COVID-19, but a release in summer 2021 is often mentioned. As always, we can discuss the series in the comments. I would love to know what you thought about it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you liked it and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye! Hey, this is Yuno. Thank you so much for watching the video of my human. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And please consider liking this video before leaving. See you soon!